Alright, uh, good morning everyone. Uh, welcome back to our channel, the Asian Mechanic Guy. And for today, we got this uh, 2007 uh, Mazda 3 uh, complaint of this car. Uh, it overheats. And right now, I did already warm up the car. Been running for like 20 minutes now. And I already put this, the data. And as you can see in here, the temp thermostat monitor engine coolant temperature degree is stuck on negative 40 it's not negative 40 in here so it might be the uh, sensor and also it might be the thermostat itself and then we are already at 100 degrees celsius if you see that engine coolant temperature and then our grading there is almost halfway and like I said, this car has been running for more than 20 minutes now and I already find the problem. It's leaking so bad. Look at that. That's the leak. So if you press this, go into the thermostat, the leak will become more worse. That, see that just from the thermostat all right uh, just get some flashlight and it's really hard to show it to you because it was on the top of the alternator but if I squish this this is going to your thermostat it should give a But a while ago it was but I'm pretty sure it's the thermostat it's not the water pump it's the water pump it's still dry there it's a water pump no leak on the water pump it's so dry so it's your Alright, so if ever you encounter this uh, kind of a, a problem, like uh, uh, overheating of a car, and then you don't have this pressure test, because I did also pressure test the car using my, you know, these tools. If you don't have this, what are you, what are you going to do is just leave the car uh, running for 20 minutes and then uh, pressure will build up and then the coolant will come out if there's a crack somewhere and for this one it's the thermostat housing so I already bought a thermostat housing it's assembly thermostat and it has also a housing right let's drain the coolant for this car Alright, so I think the drain plug for this radiator is over here. So we need a light right there. So that's the drain plug, so you need the flat screwdriver. Alright, let's drain it. <coughs> There's <laughs> no more coolant. So that's the green plug. It's only a couple of <laughs> coolant left. Let's open the reservoir. So 
So there's no pressure inside. Oh, so, oh, 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 Okay, let's just wait for a few minutes <coughs> until it fully drain. Okay, so let's start removing the thermostat. Let's move this. And I think the thermostat has only right there. It has only three bolts. Not that big one, the small one right there. I'll show you the new thermostat. So. This is the new thermostat. So it has three holes, so one, two, three, three bolts. So you believe that. So I'm using my cordless ratchet, think number eight. Hold on. I don't know if you can see it. Okay, right there. Okay, got it, one bolt. Just the one bolt right there. Come on. Okay. Let's put it over here. Just three more bolts. But I couldn't film it. <laughs> For the second one, I'm using this. And if you could see it, I think this is six inches extension. It's a three eight. Oh no, it's a one fourth. I'm using one fourth right there. So I'm almost. I think it's already loosened. There we go. <laughs> it's loosened. Oh, so yeah, same thing on the third one. So I'm using this one fourth six inches uh, extension. So there were two on the top, then one at the bottom. So that's the thermostat. Right there. So let's remove the hose and let's bring it up. Right, so this is your thermostat. I don't know what's wrong with it. Uh, let's see if there's a crack. So like that. So it's leaking over here. I don't see any crack. Anyway, it's the new one. Let's compare it. Oh yeah, I think the the gasket. This one is still thick. Compared to this one, so probably the o ring or the gasket is already worn. This one is still thick. Alright, let's put it on. So it should be like this. 
Let's double check, uh, still looks good. Okay, let's put it on. Alright, so everything is installed. So this is the hardest part, you know, putting the two hoses. I couldn't show it to you because look at <laughs> got only this much space. So if I put my hand in here then you couldn't see it anymore. But anyway, it's been installed. Let's put some coolant. Right, so we're using this Echo Fresh. You put everything so one gallon it should be good all right so let's start the car and see if there's still more leak all right so let's leave it for 10 minutes and let's come back and check for any any leak Alright, so a while ago, the thermostat uh, temperature, it's stuck on negative 40 degrees Celsius. We're gonna check that if there's some changes. Enter. Wait, still processing. Come on. So data stream. So we just wanna see the where was that? Engine coolant temperature Celsius also Where's the thing? Long term Short term Thermostat uh, oh, Okay This one Thermostat engine coolant Let's see if it's still stuck on negative 40 Okay Hmm but so far, <laughs> not a single drop. It's dry. <laughs> so it's fixed already. The leak is coming from here a while ago. Right here. Working properly now. Need more few few more few more time. So the car has been running for a while now. So I did uh, get another data for the thermostat, and everything is in negative 40. So I think this is just a default. There's nothing wrong with it, because in here your engine coolant temperature. See that 70. It's going going up. So I think your engine coolant temperature sensor is working now. Look at it, 71 now. About this one, not really sure about this. So maybe it's just the default. But I'm pretty sure. Look at this. 71, 72 now. So your that's your ECT sensor. So it's working though. I think just forget about that negative 40. The most important thing is your ECT is working and there's no more leak. I guess that's a fix. I think that's it. Look at not a single drop. All right. So I guess that's it. That's how you fix the overheating um, 07 Mazda 3 sedan 
So if you had any question about this, uh, any suggestion, uh, please comment down below and consider like and subscribe my channel too. That's all for today and see you on my next video. Bye bye. This is just a bonus. Then it at a hundred three degrees Celsius. Your fan kick on. Fan. Turning on at a hundred three degrees Celsius. So let's see. Oh, still a hundred three degrees Celsius. That should go down in few minutes. How about the all right? <laughs> Love you could see that temperature gauge less than halfway. All right, that's it. It's good.